смазь в кос. If we must move forward as a stable, united, and indivisible nation, we must have the courage of our conviction to begin to address all the issues in an honest and balanced manner that will restore Nigeria to the dreams of our founding fathers who collectively negotiated and agreed on a federal republic of Nigeria. In this regard, I need to state very unequivocally and on behalf of the people of this region that we believe, support, and are committed to the restructuring of Nigeria in a way and manner that guarantees, one, true federalism and devolution of power to the states, including states creating and managing their own police and security architecture under a federal structure as it is in all federal and some non-federal systems in the world. Two, true fiscal federalism guided by the principle of derivation, revenue sharing, and control of resources by each state of the federation as it was the case in the First Republic. All of us agree that the Nigeria police has been stretched beyond measure. And we believe that there is no longer any rational basis for the delay in the implementation of what has become a national consensus that what is required in our nation is to have both the federal and the state and even local government police or security agencies. To treat traditional rulers as though they are non-entities is very unfortunate. It's as bad as saying your prayers and forgetting to add amen to it. And you can find that Nigeria is going round and round in the wilderness for 40 years because the traditional rulers who are the original uh, stakeholders and actually the government and the, of the people, by the people too, have been neglected and sidelined. It is most unfortunate, and I think we should now have the traditional rulers back in the Constitution. People may not want to hear it now, and may not want to say it, but it has to be said. It has to be said that the political power must shift, and the only way it's going to shift is for us to have a restructured Nigeria. Mr. President has tasked members of this cabinet to ensure of that his commitment with regards to the NSAS process are fully executed. Yeah, I also warned that the right of citizens to protest must be respected and protected, for we exist in a democracy. However, in doing so, respect for the law and order must be adhered to, and the rights of other citizens must not be infringed upon. The figures, as they affect the South-South, indicate that 54 government facilities were attacked, while 23 government warehouses were looted. In addition, 53 private and corporate facilities were attacked, while 21 civilians lost their lives in the ensign's protests in, the, in this region with 18 others injured. Furthermore, seven police personnel were killed in this region by the rioters. That gives you the picture of the negative effect of the protests. Most of the issues that have been raised now, that have been canvassed, most of them are issues for constitutional amendment. The issues for constitutional review. Yes, we are a delegation of Mr. President, who is the chief executive. But the last time I checked, and most of us here who are lawyers will also know that going through the provisions of the Constitution, Mr. President does not hold any fiat to bring to uh, the fore 
most of the requests that has been made. Most of those requests must come through the Constitution Review Committee. May I invite another...